Yeah, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Bashem Rakak Wadash. My name is Yikaba from Plain Tables Camp. And Shalom to the uh, elect, if I didn't say that. Uh, this is uh, Apostle Tahar did this video a month ago on comprehensive biometric entry exit plan. He put it on his, um, his Odyssey. So I'm going to play some uh, ex uh, excerpt of what uh, he was. Uh, screen recording from another uh this youtuber right so the uh lord of the rings this eye i believe can see everywhere or most places i can just do vigo we he played on history of violence pretty good movie uh, and it talks about the surveillance state and we believe uh, the uh the person doing a rock the, the voiceover and I believe that uh, Apostle Tahar believes that these sit these biometric systems are being used to keep people in the country. All right, because remember the system is going to become a totalitarian system, so they want to control your movement. So they want to control your entry and exit in the biometrics that's written down in the uh, the Border Patrol legislative language is uh, iris and finger. All right, so let's let somebody just play. Right? I, I don't know. I'm Look, my confusion around Teal has always been that the guy claims to be a libertarian in his views. And so I just, I personally have no idea how preserving civil liberties even remotely squares or doesn't totally stand in complete contradiction with taking a science fiction level massive Big Brother surveillance tool that's utilized by evil wizards in Lord of the Rings and then making that a, a science reality that we all have to live under. I don't, obviously I'm missing the Hellfire Club on that. I just don't get where that's, what that's, how that works. But that's neither here nor there. Everything about what's happening at our southern border right now reminds me of a scene out of the indie future dystopic film Sleep Dealer. Aaron had me watch this a few years ago, and it stuck with me the whole time because it's this future nightmare version of our world where water resources have been tightly controlled and locked down with drone protected walls and fences and stuff, and surveillance tools are just ubiquitous everywhere. And there's a scene just for a second where an American citizen attempts to cross the border into Mexico from the United States and a talking biometric computer mounted machine gun evaluates him and scans his eyeball and then says you may exit the country sir you may exit the country sir so so that's the uh, the law it was Put in place 2016, or at least this is uh this they put put it forth. I'm not sure if it's law yet, but they have different. You know, they they're uh, dragging their feet. They it can they can sneak it in. They can make it automatically law. But what the, the how the language is reads how the language reads. Going to page three. It's uh, iris scan and fingerprint scan. Okay, according one, accordingly one of the prime primary challenges of deploying an effective biometric exit system includes designing and developing a new process for verifying departure where none exists today and doing so in a very complex and time sensitive operational environment the biometric exit system must not be disruptive to travel and commerce and therefore will require both process information and technological innovation so like the uh, the easy pass you know the, the cameras are very uh Efficient. Uh, it can get you uh, the license plate. It's pretty clear picture, a license plate, and the front and the rear of the uh, vehicle or car. All right. So, 2015, the Custom Border Patrol initiated three targeted biometric entry exit pilot projects at the top 10 airports and at the pedestrian crossing on the southward border. The one-to-one -one facial comparison project matches the face of the person uh, presenting at the U.S. passport, presenting a U.S. passport for entry into the United States. So, facial recognition, fingerprint, iris scan, this, uh, biometrics.
I'm going to do bio means life and metric means to measure. Uh, the biometric exit mobile project provides the C, the custom border patrol officer at an airport departure gate with instant access to biographic and biometric entry information that previously was available only through hard wire connectivity. So now we have the cell phones. Now we, we, you can get that information and use your camera to input that information and, and to verify it against their database against their records that you already submitted so th i can see this definitely stopping uh the flow of traffic if you if you're not in compliance and eventually what we believe is this information is going to be in combination with the implantable microchip all right it's going to be in your uh your hand your arms all right because they they are going to uh lock things down it's not just they just, they just want to uh put a you no know, chip in you they want to control your ass too so they want to, they're going to want to have these things in place so this biometrics uh technology is not going anywhere all right and the, the chip is going to be the thing for finance all right and this other stuff as it appears is going to be more for se uh, security all right let's go down to uh this is also uh it allows the custom border patrol officer to biometrically record and the departure of foreign nationals. All right. The pedestrian entry exit project evaluates the effectiveness of using multi-model biometrics to match certain pedestrian travelers departing the United States in an outdoor environment on the southwest border against entry information and against their, against their database. So uh, it started in 2013. All right, let's go down to uh, 15, page 15. Biometric exit mobile experiment. Is it experiment? Oh, you can click it. Oh, okay. Facial comparison. So that's what you saw in the, in the short video. The one-to-one -one facial comparison. This is for page 14. Designed to ensure that those travelers presenting the U.S. passports for entry into the United States are the same individual whose these passports were legally issued. All right. So look, this is this is not science fiction. It is simply telling you that the uh, the financial and identification system is going to be upgraded from your regular ID to your information on a cell phone and a chip in your hand or arm. Biometric Exit Mobile Project evaluates the feasibility of recording the departure of foreign travelers with the handheld biometric device. It's going to measure because everybody has a different measurement, different bio measurement, the eye, face, fingerprint, building upon existing investment in custom border patrol mobile applications. Biometric Exit Mobile integrates exiting outbound enforcement operations with biometric exit data. Collected at the departure gate. Alright. So this technology is increasing. They, they, it's, it's going to become more uh, normal for the use of the cell phone. Now, you should already know about Revolution 13 16. We believe that this is, these technologies are going, are going to uh, evolve into, include an RFID implantable microchip for finance and identification. And it, it, it appears that these technologies are going to work together to identify who you are. All right. But the Esau, he wants that mark in you. And he's going to gradually get to the, putting that kragma in your flesh. All right. If you're not of the elect. So most of the world is going to be uh, implanted. And it was mainly in the developed countries. In the so-called developed countries, you know, Esau calls developed. All right, uh, Revelation thirteen sixteen, and he called. I'm sure they gonna have missionaries going elsewhere also. Uh, and he calls with all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads. All right, as it is written, when he is about to fill his belly, roughly paraphrasing, the fury, the wrath of Most High will come upon him. All right, uh, so he, he's going to get nearly complete of a. Uh, implanting the majority of people on the planet 
and all the world's governments are going to agree. And this is before the third, the official, you know, ground, you know, missiles f firing, nuclear fire. Before that happens, this is going to happen. Revelation 13 and 16. All right. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or name of the beast or the number of his name. Uh, so that, so that, the implant chip is for finance. And to identification also, but mainly for finance. And then you have this other stuff that's, that's plausible for it to be for sec security, you know, inner and uh, uh, secure buildings, secure areas. So it's going to be, so I believe as, as it is uh, the data I'm seeing, the information I'm seeing, that it's going to be a combination of all these things. And that's how we're going to enter into a totalitarian system. Let me show you the uh, a version of the uh, implantable chip. This is from the movie The Lazarus Lazarus Project, starring Paul Walker, Fast and Furious guy. That was either killed or died in that horrific car accident. Biographical data. Hope you can see that. He was being uh I guess um tricked into uh Believing he was crazy, whatever they were uh, just gaslighting him, and he was being uh, deceived about how long he was there. I think he had memory problems. Uh, he was at a mental institution. He was working there, and then all of a sudden, uh, some things happened, and he became a patient. <laughs> you know, I guess like a cure for wellness. If you look that up, that's that's a newer movie. This is much older, uh, but he the cure for wellness. Yeah, yeah, curve, curve, yeah, curve for wellness. Yeah, he went down there on, on like a work assignment, and then he ended up being a patient. So Hollywood just recycles the stories all over and over again. It's the same shit just recycle, you know, from the fifties and forties and seventies and sixties. They're doing the same movie over and over again. All right, uh, biographical. And these are other patients. They got the uh, more than likely got that the uh, implant in them, and this is the flat chip. All right. So they just copy off each other. All right. Right there. Then all of a sudden, oh, they come out with a flat flat implant chip a few years ago. All right. And this is, I think, like 2003, 2007, 8, 9, something like that. Right there. 2000s. And you're pulling it out. Saline implant. So they know. They put it in the movies, in the TV shows. Right. And you can see the uh, technology slowly getting there. Experiment, experiencing, subject experiencing paranoia and hallucinations induced by saline implant. Skin irritation at implant site. And that's the cancer. All right. Or some uh, pus producing sore, grievous sore. In the book of Revelation. Implant removal side effects persist. I think I have that screenshot. I hope I got it. Uh, no. When I was the uh, 1613, I just since I flashed across the screen. Let me just. So, the elders and the brothers talk about 1681, but uh, apparently there was a 1613. Um, 1613 white people reference also Ed Simon the executive director of Belt Media Collaborative and editor in chief of Belt Magazine uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't say right here but uh, this, is the, this is the reference you can just type in how white people were invented by a playwright in 1613 that's, an, that's another year you can you can uh, look up. Let me see something. All right. Uh, yeah. So I don't have the uh, the rest of it. You type that in, and then uh, sixteen thirteen is also a uh, a year. Right. Psalms one nineteen. Okay. So I don't have the uh. Well, it says implant. Removal if side effects it says consider removing I think it says something like that 
uh, implant removal if side effects persist. All right. Let's go down here. The biometric exit project evaluates the feasibility of recording the departure of foreign travelers of handheld biometric device, which is your cell phone with a camera, building upon existing in investments in the custom border control mobile applications. Real time view. All right. It states the comparison will be used and developed. Exit records from limited number of randomly selected foreign nationals departing the United States. So I guess it's, it says it's going to be random. You got a pedestal here. All right. Uh, collecting face, collection of face, face and iris images. You know, they're going to be scanning everybody. It don't matter. Random ass. Like I get random checks if they come with the dog in the airport. The, whole, the system is, is put in place is to make sure you, you are who you say you are. Uh, so they have to have specific, a specific, your spe a specific measurement. All right. Which is your iris scan, your facial recognition. Then eventually it's going to include that implantable uh, chip. You, know, you see that pedestal and you put your face in it and scan your face and your eyes. That's what I think they're saying. All right, so we got there, and yeah, you can definitely see this uh, limiting your your entry and exit. All right, second exit is fifteen seventeen. A man should desire to go into a city, and should not be able. Yeah, and they can just cut the, the border off every once in a while to and only allow certain traffic to be to go through. All right, so this is what's going to bring in these prophecies. Some some disaster is going to happen in which they're going to put the technology in place or already have it ready. And say, well, this is why we need it. Let's watch some more of the Apostles video. So that was giving him permission to leave. Because you're not allowed to just leave the country. It didn't say you may now enter Mexico. It wasn't Mexico who was making that decision. It said you may exit the country. You're allowed to leave. You have the privilege of being allowed to go out of here. <laughs> and by the way, the UN is paying a lot of the costs associated with people coming here from Latin and South America. One of the things that is happening here and all along the migrant trail that led here and beyond all the way up to the border is that the United Nations is handing out cash and debit rental assistance and movement assistance to immigrants to help sustain them on their road to El Norte. They're directly giving people debit cards with cash payments. That means they're getting paid. They're paying for travel costs like bus tickets and, and hostels and stuff along the way. And this has been going on for years. And then you have people saying, why would the UN do that? Well, why would they do it? Do you think it's just because of some humanitarian mission? and not because the UN wants to be the head of the global world state, the creation of which is greatly hastened by mass migration overwhelming national borders all over the place. And handing out these cards and the digital IDs they've been signing people up for and stuff like that, handing these cash cards out and what have you, feeds certainly into their UN Agenda 2030 goals, specifically goal number one, which if you look on the regular chart, it's just vague, no poverty, right? But as you can see in this May 2023 Common Agenda Policy Brief called A Global Digital Compact, An Open, Free, and Secure Digital Future for All, if you come down to page 8, there's the color-coded chart again, and they're showing a little bit more about what they mean about these things. And no poverty specifically says digital IDs linked with bank or mobile money accounts. A lot of these people are complaining that they've been here for, you know, days or weeks or even months without their United Nations debit cards, which is typically what they're going to get. And then each month that they're here, the United Nations will transfer an amount. It might be a couple of hundred dollars. It might be thousands of pesos, which is enough to sustain people for a month in rental assistance. 
and food and that sort of thing. So if those people have money accounts, then very likely they also have a digital ID that's linked to it. Uganda has launched a massive biometric refugee verification exercise of the estimated more than one million refugees living in the country. Over 400 UNHCR staff members have been deployed to work with teams from Uganda's Office of the Prime Minister, WFP and other partner organizations, as well as volunteer refugees to carry out process. Most of those people from the foreign nations, Jake out there in Africa and Mexico, whatever, they're going to get that uh, karagma and they're not going to say, no, I don't take it because the Bible says this because they don't know. Now you got IUIC all out in Africa. They're not telling those Israelites <clears throat> out there in Africa. They're telling them that they're Israelites, but they're not telling them about the karagma. <clears throat> So when the karagma comes, a lot of them are going to take it, and he had the opportunity to tell them not to take it. But he buck, he bucks up against what we've been saying, which we speak through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodash. Yo, the uh, apostle said he not warning them. It says Zechariah eleven and four. Thus saith the Lord, My God, feed the flock of the slaughter. So who's possessed to slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. So we know that the Israelites went into slavery. The little hat didn't go into slavery. All right? He left the Khazar Empire, went east and west, all right? and opened, opened up banks. The children of Israel went into slavery. All right now, yeah, and they believe because they're, they're successful that they, that the Lord is with them. All right? That that could be the farthest thing. That is the farthest thing from the truth. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. So feed. All right. Where I, ha. Huh? And we got this Greek word. It's a little hard to pronounce. But the root word. G forty one sixty five Poi Poi Mai Poi Maino which means to supply the requisite requisites for the soul's needs. So even if you didn't believe the implant was the uh Revelation thirteen sixteen, the mark of the beast, you'll be warning against this uh, uh Surgeon technology, uh, this this agenda. So he doesn't even see the agenda for bi biometric implants and biometric identification. So that dude's sleep, the IUIC in those other camps. They sleep. They're dumb dogs that don't bark. All right, and look look up in the Hebrew. Uh, forward. Feed is pretty much a generic. We got where I have uh, Pastor Grace to eat. Uh, Israel's a flock. Associates. Like the, the feed is it's pretty basic. The Grace ten feed. And the Greek is a it's more uh, more of a, a deeper meaning in the Greek. All right, which it's the same. It's the same thing in the Hebrew. Just Esau. He just sometimes he when he makes writes his definitions, he's lackluster in his explaining of things. All right. Said dumb dogs. Let's see. Uh, where's that at? Dumb dog. Look at the scripture up in a while. Isaiah fifty six and ten said his watchmen are blind. That's I U I C I H B K. Any group don't believe. That the implant is the microchip, or, or at least warning. He's still blind, but you would you would at least like okay, you see this this technology surfacing, you know. And anybody that's that's breaking the, the scriptures down the wrong way, his watchmen are blind. They are, they are ign they are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, laying down, loving to slumber. All right, so let's look up ignorant. 
you die oh not no knowledge no knowledge so you looked up in the hebrew it's watchmen are blind you know all ignorant la knowledge okay la 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 knowledge no knowledge so that means they're not even looking they're not looking they don't have the knowledge i wore blind i wore Let's go see. Averi. <laughs> All right, uh, blind, literally or figuratively. Men, people. All right. So if, if you're not looking, it says you, you have no knowledge. His watchmen are blind, figuratively. I mean, they don't have understanding, so they can't teach. They are all ignorant. They have no knowledge. They are all dumb. Alam, mute. So, so when, when it comes to the tech, to the technology, they're not telling you about it. Dogs, they cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. All right. Isaiah fifty-six and ten. His watchmen are blind. These are the false prophets. They are all, because Isaiah wasn't, a, uh, Isaiah wasn't dumb. Isaiah wasn't ignorant. He spoke the prophecies. All right. Now he didn't. He couldn't interpret some of them, but he spoke them. All right. The IUIC, the ISUBK, etc. They don't tell you about this impending danger about that's about to come with the with the implantable microchips and the biometrics. All right. They just uh, either say it's, it's an embargo or something in your mind, various other things without uh, anything but biometrics. His watchmen are blind. So you can't bring out the CBDCs and don't talk about biometrics in the same uh, breath. All right? So they're, they're, his watchmen are blind. They're all ignorant. They're all dumb dogs. And IUIC tried to do that. I believe they talked about the CBDCs, the uh, central bank digital, digital currencies, but didn't talk about biometrics, which is measuring specific specific things in your body. Iris, fingerprint, Facial recognition. All right. And then the implantable microchip, which is literally going to go in into your flesh. Now, in the medical records portion of the implantable microchip, they're going to have your biometrics on that uh, chip. Your uh, health re your records, your... Uh, certain spe a specific bi biometrics of you on that chip and for finance they could have that too all right for the, the buying and selling it could be all encompassing all right but we know that that they want that that chip in you and they want your damn iris scans and face scans in a database that can be verified when you try to go through certain entry points Yeah, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough. <laughs> yeah, some of these uh, le uh, leaders in, in churches, too, in the, the, the plantation Christianity, Church of the Borgia churches that are rich. They have private jets. And I believe IUIC was trying to get a, uh, was trying to get a jet. All right, so these are, the, these are the false prophets. All right, and the scriptures clearly tell you identify them so if you don't see this it's because you don't believe in the scriptures you ain't supposed to be a multi-millionaire and be a damn uh, a elder uh, a uh, a um a camp leader a bishop which bishop means elder <laughs> like i mean these guys is iuic man they 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 just strange man they they really trying to uh, putting putting on a a, a a personality that works for people trying to mold themselves in a, in, a, in, a, in a fashion in which most people will like and accept and be attracted to so it's a cult cult personality they do it in um in psychology psycho psychological thing All right, let's finish all the apostles video
So anyway, I'm gonna close this. You can watch the rest of this. I subscribe to this um, individual, this page, True Stream Media, and they might do a video once every like six months. But when they do a video, they give you a lot of information. Anyway, True uh, True Stream Media on YouTube. This is not just about the border. So you can watch the rep chart is just vague. No pop link to it. Uganda has launched a massive biometric refugee verification exercise of the estimated more than 1 million refugees living in the country. Over 400 UNHCR staff members have been deployed to work with teams from Uganda's Office of the Prime Minister, WFP and other partner organizations, as well as volunteer refugees to carry out process. Most of those people from the foreign nations Jake out there in Africa and Mexico, whatever, they're going to get that uh, karagma and they're not going to say, no, I don't take it because the Bible says this because they don't know. But to take it, most Israelites out there in Africa, they're telling them that they're Israelites, but they're not telling them most Israelites, IUIC all out in Africa, they're not telling those Israelites out there in Africa, they're telling them that they're Israelites, but they're not telling them about the karagma. <clears throat> so when the karagma comes, a lot of them are going to take it, and he had the opportunity to tell them not to take it. So this media and they information. Anyway, true, uh, true stream media on YouTube. This is not just about the border. So you can watch the rest of it. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. All right, that's it there. All right, so this is the uh, comprehensive biometric entry exit plan. All right, and, we, and this is you know iris scan, face rec recognition, fingerprints. So this is going. This it seems plausible for it to be uh, alongside the uh, the finance portion, which is the implantable microchip, which we're eventually going to get to. All right, eventually going to get there. All right, it had to be convenient. It got some disaster, some uh, the terrorist attack, famine. Uh, they try to force you to get an electric car or something. They they, they want to push for that, which is insane. But that, who knows? That that could be the thing in which it causes a crisis where they say, no, we can't produce electric, uh, can't produce uh, internal combustion engines no more for passenger and you know trucks and all that. It has to be electric. So that could be that could cost a uh, cost a uh, a major catastrophe. All right, so I hope you edified. Let's go to the top. Shalom.